for the Heritage Festival. It's the Old Fashioned Miners Picnic. Sorry about that. 160 years ago, Daniel Lee Birch drove into the side of this mountain and number nine coal mine and museum began its coal production. And in salute to that 160 years ago, we will be releasing 160 red, white, and blue biodegradable balloons. As a salute to the veterans, the men and the women, who serve at the front line so that you and I can live as we do here in America today. We have a few people to help us salute the number nine and those men and women of service. Volunteers who show up famously for the number nine, along with Mr. O'Gorick, our Carbon County Commissioner, who uh, shows up faithfully to these events for us. Those of you who have men and women of service in your family, friends, network, you're invited to come down to the entrance of the number nine where we will be releasing those 160 balloons in memorial to the men and women and to the number nine, our coal miners. If you come from the area, come down and help us. And we have a few other people here Another gentleman, Mr. O'Gore, would you like to come forward and say a few words to our gathered folks and people at home? Thank you, Jen. And thank you for welcoming me here to be speaker today. I want to start out on this eve of Memorial Day by congratulating and thanking most appreciatively the men and women past and present who have served our country. I see a gentleman there in uniform, sir. Thank you very much for your service and thank you to every veteran for your service to our country. Tomorrow we'll be speaking at a number of places uh, to uh, speak to the dedication and testimony of the men and women who made this country strong. And I couldn't implore enough to you to say thank you to a veteran. With regard to the number nine mine, I want to thank the hard-working men and women of the Number 9 Mine Museum and the Carbon County Labor Council for inviting me to today's ceremony in observance of the 160th anniversary of the establishment in 1855 of the Number 9 Mine. That you constantly work hard to perpetuate the legacy of coal mining in the Panther Valley and Carbon County is certainly commendable. I think it's also synonymous with the work ethic of those who toiled here throughout the 19th and 20th centuries to help coal mining in general and our region in particular to earn its place in helping to build America. After coal was discovered in 1791 in Summit Hill, it had a significant effect on generations of families both in the United States and abroad. It gave rise to the Industrial Revolution, and it even played a part in winning two world wars. Coal is the very reason why many of our towns sprouted. It's the reason why the Bethlehem Steel became an international industrial force. It's the reason why the Lehigh and Delaware canals made such a huge impact on the region's development. Today we celebrate the unmatched work ethic of those who labored here. We celebrate the impact coal mining had on the development of our towns, how it led to the establishment of canals, the first ever gravity railroad that we all know of as the Switchback Railroad, and how it fueled the Industrial Revolution. It led to the immigration of many, many, many nationalities, including the English, Welsh, Irish, German, Polish, Slovak, Ukrainian, Hungarian, Italian, Russian, Lithuanian, and others. The influence of these immigrants is still felt strongly and proudly in our region. Of course, the importance of coal's discovery and the persistent mining of it provided jobs, and with those jobs came character, strength, and a work ethic that's really unmatched around the country. 
So today's a day to celebrate. It's a day to celebrate the hardworking population that earned its place in America, thanks in part to the persistence showed in developing the number nine mine 160 years ago. A task that took about 10 years from the time of its conception until the tunnel became a reality, accessing the mammoth vein on the south side of the Panther Creek Valley. And as we acknowledge this important anniversary, we should say thanks to those who preceded us, those who helped build our communities as miners and railroaders, to those who never gave up when tunneling the, to the coal deposits 160 years ago seemed unattainable. And we should acknowledge and say thanks to the men and women today who give of their time and effort on a regular basis to make sure that this particular part of the building of America continues to hold its place in our heralded history. Thank you very much and have a great day, a great Memorial Day holiday. Good luck to everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gould. I'd like to uh, take this opportunity for those of you who have most recently arrived. Please join us down in, at the entrance of the number nine. We are going to be doing the balloon release down there. This balloon release is to celebrate 160 years since the opening of the number nine, but also to show respect to those spirits who have made this country great, who choose to serve at the front line so that you and I do not have to. And also a memory of those people who came from 200 different countries, who spoke over 30 different languages to make America what it is today. God bless America. Please join us down at the front of the number nine line. Recording. I'll, I'll, I'll pop in and fix it later. No. They, you know how this going to work. They're just going to go like this. When the balloons go up. Yep, follow as much as you can. I won't have to touch this, right? Is that, no, no, that was just me. <laughs> Thank you, I think you. Wait, one second, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Can you do it both hands? Yeah. Are they going to take them out of the bag? Daddy! Look at everything but the balloons. Yeah. Okay, can everybody get closer together? If you're in the back, you're too far in the back, I'm as tight as you can. All the kids are in the front, no matter what. Hard to see it. All the kids are in the front, just watch your step. Can you over on this side? Just watch your step. Even tighter. You know where I stand? You're, you're, you're ah. in the back. If you're short, I won't see you. I won't see you. Again. No one else is in this picture? That's great. Let me look at it here. Hold on. Everyone hold the balloons up, but don't cover your faces up, though. Oh, never mind. Put, put them down. Sorry. <laughs> Can you two? Can you two stand right here? Here. Right there, right here. Right here, that's falling over. Right over here. This is the color over. Hi, Bobby. Hey, everyone. I'm going to go over to this. Huh? I'm going to go over to your arcade. Hold it up. Oh, sure. This will be easier. Oh, come here and get dirty back there. Hey, those blues in the back, lower them down more. I want more color, the better. There you go. Yeah, we'll work with the sun too. But. Okay. <laughs> Are we almost ready here, ladies and gentlemen? Everybody good now? We're ready. All right, well, here's to salute to the veterans, salute to the answer. On three? One. Oh. The bag's ready to be open, though, right? And you're just going to tear them right open, yeah? Oh, there it goes. Not yet, not yet. Here it goes. You got one. You guys ready? Yep. On three, and two. Oh yeah! Let's go, baby. Woo! Yep. This one is what you said, right?
Don't do it. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> Check it, show